Hello once again, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and I got some packages. Yes, the seemingly never-ending uh, kind of round of put in a pl place of pre-order, wait and wait and wait, and then the pre-order shows up, and then comes another one, and then another one. Um, I kind of wish that Hasbro or Entertainment Earth or some of these other places, I don't think they all give you the option of uh, just saying, look, ship it all in one shot. Um, but maybe if that happened, then it could be a year or more before I receive these. So we have our items here, okay? So I'm really excited to get them open. I can tell we have two smaller ones. I would imagine these are single carded figures, either black series or this feels like it could be vintage just because of the weight. And um, then we have this big one at the bottom, which I think I know what that is. So let's get right to it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I had that bonus um, Galaxy's Edge walkthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed that. There will probably be more of those in the future um, when I can. But uh, I'll try to set up announcements ahead of time so people aren't aware. Uh, okay. Ooh, this was... Oh, this was a... This was actually not Entertainment Earth. This is one of my final um, uh, eBay purchases. Clone Commander Wolf. Okay, that is a VC-168. Clone Commander Wolf. Again, these are just figures that, you know, over the years... Oh, I shouldn't say the years. I mean, this one came out in 2020, so it wasn't that long ago. But over the years... I've had, um, you know, I've gone in looking for, ever since Toys R Us closed, you know, you lose track of what you've ordered and what you find in the stores. In fact, I don't even go toy hunting as much anymore, folks, because it's just a waste of gas for me. Every time I go out, there's really nothing there, except Legos, but I'm really trying to ease, ease my purchasing of Legos just because I don't need it. Speaking of that, I'll get to that story in one second. I should have taken a photo of it, but I didn't. There's Clone Commander Wolf. It's got the realistic... Facial, um, Tamara Morrison face sculpt, or face scans. We can get it in there without it blurring. There we go. There he is. Okay. And, you know, like the, like the typical vintage collection. It's got the nice uh, color background carded, or color background loose figure photos. Simple, just like the, simple, the old ones. And, uh, you know, releasing those figures at that time. So, as I mentioned in previous episodes, I was kind of behind in certain ones, like just random numbers here and there so clone commander wolf is now going to find a place in the collection on the vintage card as i said I do not re i do not open the vintage cards okay now um yeah so i started i didn't sorry i didn't get a picture of this but uh in traveling obviously i was in galaxy's edge so i was traveling i was in the airport and if you've been to the airport i mean obviously not a lot of us have been to the airport in the last year but in if you've traveled before last year you may have noticed you know things like giant Best Buy vending machines, essentially, where you could purchase iPhones or iPods or I, what, fill in the blank, you know, tablets and earbuds and really high-end noise-canceling headphones, those kind of things. You know, they're expensive, but they had a little kiosk and you could purchase it right there, pay with your credit card, and the, you know, little thing would take it out and put it in the little drop box, and there you go, you had, had this new piece of tech. Well... I saw that. That's been around. That's nothing new. But what I haven't seen, maybe some of you have, is a Lego vending machine. That's right, folks. There is a Lego vending machine in the Orlando uh, airport. Uh, probably multiple Lego vending machines. And the gate near the gate I was at to leave to return back to my home, there was a Lego vending machine. And you know what? It was mostly empty. So clearly, <laughs> it had been um, used. There were two Star Wars. Um, Star Wars Lego sets. I I was one of them. I already had. It was the Land Speeder, and uh, I didn't really need another one. But then the other one was, um, and it was a Battle Droid tank. But it had Ahsoka, and it had Ahsoka's clone troopers with with the orange kind of Ahsoka face uh, decaling that they put on it. And I thought, oh, those are kind of cool, but I, I didn't I didn't get it. I, I'm really trying to ease up on the Lego because it's just. There just isn't any more room. I'm looking at a Lego piece right now that's literally sitting on top of one of my Millennium Falcon toys. <laughs> it's not even like on its own space. So, yeah, Lego's got to 
take a break here. So anyway, all right, why don't we move on? We got our next one here. This one. Oh, this was a GameStop. Okay, so I'm thinking could be a six inch by the size of the box. Very much could be a six inch. Okay, yep, it is six inch. And who do we have? Ah! We have Cal Kestis. Gaming greats, Cal Kestis. Okay, along with now. I'm I'm not one I'm going to I'm not going to pretend here. I am not a gamer. I have not played this game. I've heard it's pretty good. I've heard it's a good a good story there. Let me read the thing in the back here. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order lets players evade Empire the Empire's forces as Cal Kestis, a Padawan fugitive on a quest to complete his training and rebuild the fallen Jedi Order. Now, I believe that there has been I have it up there somewhere. We ha I do have a Cal Kestis already figure, although I don't believe it looks exactly like that. It, it looks like he's got a different outfit on, and he comes with not one, not just a droid, but a, another cute little creature. I wish I knew they, what the name of that creature is. If you have the names of the of the droid and the creature, please put those in the comments because I'd be very interested to know. The droid looks similar to the droid that he's had in um, in, in his other one, but it's a different color scheme. So again, um, I don't know everything about Star Wars, folks. I'm not a gamer, so but I do love collecting the toys and even the gaming greats. Um, I kind of enjoy them. Um, there's there's a there's always a part of me that thinks, well, maybe I will play that game someday. So uh, I kind of want to know the characters before I do that. As you can see, you got the nice um, realism in the face, based very much on the um, the actor that portrayed him in the game. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so uh, this one. Hmm, am I going to take... I think this one I'm going to keep in. I mean, I don't keep a lot of them in, and I know that a lot of people like to display them. I might let this round of gaming greats... This is pretty new. Let's see what the year is. Uh, 2021. So, very new. I might keep some of these in the package just to... I like to do some of that. I don't do it with everything, but if I already have a figure out, if I have a second figure that's very, very similar, I usually like to keep them in the package. All right. Now for the, the biggie. For the big one here. All right, I'm gonna be careful how we do this. All right, I believe this is from Hasbro. It's funny, like the box is huge, but what's in it, not quite. Okay, it's a little smaller, so hang on one second. Let me just get this thing kind of placed back here. All right. All right, so this is interesting. Star Wars The Black Series. I don't know if you can see it with the... You can see if I kind of shine the light on it. You'll see that we got a little shot of Endor. We got a little shot of the Death Star. You know, the com incomplete Death Star. Then it says here at the bottom, Heroes of Endor. Okay. I'm just gonna take this and like open it up like this. Wow, this is extremely interesting. So there you got. I believe that is Paplu, right, on the speeder bike. Then you open it up, and you got Han and Leia in front of the Endor bunker. And then you have Luke getting ready to take on the speeder bike after he just leaps from his. What an, an interesting box. Now, <laughs> the only... <laughs> it's really cool, okay? I'm sorry if my microphone is getting fuzzed up here. It is really cool. It's a cool setup, all right? I really do like this. I really do. Except... This takes up an entirely huge amount of space. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I think for the time being, okay, I'm going to leave it kind of closed up. What I might do, you know, it seems like when you take that little slip cover off, you can display it in many, many different angles. You can play it this way, this way, or this way, okay? 
So that's pretty good. All right, I, I, I get that. I like that idea. I like the creative um, way of packaging. But, you know, sadly, when I put the package, when I put the thing together, you know, the, let me just put it this way. They clearly, they were thinking about a lot of things, but they clearly weren't thinking about, look about this. This is, this is four figures. Three full-size six-inch figures. Three, okay, I can, I can use my fingers. Three full-size six-inch figures and one half-size six-inch, so, so three-inch figure. Look at that. That's a lot of space. And you know, anybody who's watched this channel knows that I am limited when it comes to space. So I don't want to open this. I really don't. But I don't know if I have a choice. It's either that or just sell it, like sell it off again. So... For the moment, I'll keep it kind of tucked over here on the side, just as is, and um, maybe I'll maybe I'll take this part out and like just keep it kind of tucked away in the back. I don't know. I have to think about it. I mean, I mean, the figures themselves are are wonderful. I mean, I love the. You know, look at the look at the Han, look at Han and Leia. I mean, right out of the movie, guys, right out of the film. Right. All we need is R two in there. You know, we'll say that R two is off camera over here after he just got blown away by the um, stormtrooper, right? But that's a great shot. It's like a, a, a it's a diorama. So I, I get it. I get the, the, the appeal of it. And then, you know, you got Luke here. Now, I also feel like this is a little bit of a wasted thing with this size box. I would have paid a little more for another figure. I would have paid more to put a speeder bike, another speeder bike with a, with a uh, biker scout on it. But I get it. It's all right. This this does come with some accessories. It looks like I'm not exactly sure what. Looks like a oh it looks like, oh I know what it is. It comes with um, it comes with um, yeah. I'll think of it. Han Solo. That's his name. It comes with his uh, trench coat. Okay, on the other side you can see that it's um it's kind of dangling right there. It's just like put in a little pouch they kind of have it it kind of shifts off to the side so you really can't see it and then you know this is kind of cool like if you look at the the artwork on the side the left and right you can see kind of the trees speeding through right so that's cool you know i like it i really do i don't ever see it as an op I mean, oh i will show you that if you open it up you got this nice little green kind of endor look with the death star and I guess, are we looking at the, can't open it. Yeah, pretty much the same thing on the other side. So it's cool. It's really cool. I just, you know, I, I saw the pictures of it. I, you know, it wasn't boxed like this. So I wasn't quite, or if maybe it was boxed, but I didn't realize the size of it. So it's hard for me to um, get too excited when I consider the amount of space. But this is something that's very, I mean, I mean, I, you know, look, I understand the value of, you know, exclusives and things of that nature. And I don't, you know, willingly like to just destroy value of toys by opening them up. But at the same time, you know, I only have a limited amount of space. I mean, this would really literally just take up, you know, three figures and a half a figure with a speeder bike would take up about this much room versus this. So, you know, buyer beware. You know, if you have a lot of space, great. If you do not have a lot of space, think about it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I have a little spot over here, and I can just place it there. You know, you keep the the slip cover open so you can at least see the figures for now. And then if I ever decide I want to do something different with it, I can always close it up and we'll come up with something else. All right, so I'm not going to open it yet. So this is a non-boxing unboxing show, okay, except out of the original mailing containers. But that will do it for this episode of Darth Super Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do all that other stuff. Check out all my other videos. Thank you almost. We have a lot of people giving me some new comments this week. Thank you so much. Uh, continue to do so. Spread the word. I always love interacting with anybody who has any questions, uh, any, any comments, even any critiques about stuff. I'm okay with that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I drop videos every Sundays and Wednesdays. Until next time, may the force and the toys, even and the big, huge displays be with you.